hi, I didn't know he was there. Uh, hi, my name is Robert. I'm here in a little small town in New England called Mexico, Maine. And the reason I'm doing this video is I want to supplement the web page that I made up. And uh, you might say I'm an e-bike virgin because this is the first time for me. Good winter project to pursue, so I started collecting parts. And uh, I think the first time I ever rode a bike was when I was 11 years old, 1959. It was quite an experience, uh, but I was really thrilled and I rode that bike until I was 16, maybe closer to 17. I took driver's ed in the summer, got my license in the fall of that year, and pretty much stopped riding the bike, except for maybe when I got married and had children. We used to go out on bike rides. and. But it was a lot of fun. And I always wanted a bike with a motor on it. And of course, motors uh, make noise, they use gas, uh, those types of things. And because the e bike generation is upon us, uh, I thought I'd try my hand at putting something together. I did a lot of research online, I uh, found a lot of e bike kits, a lot of them included. Uh, small motors you had to hook onto the chain or a drive belt kind of a arrangement but it looked like the best part best type was what you're seeing here it's basically a, um, a bicycle front wheel and they've installed a motor in the center of it but there's a lot of other things that go with it these spokes that are on the real heavy duty almost about as thick as a small motorcycle, so it's a very rugged system. I've looked at a lot of them, but this is the one that, that I found that seemed to be the best, and so I went and ordered this kit. It's a 24-volt uh, system. They come in about three or four voltages. Uh, generally, the ones that are the high voltage, it's uh, like 24, 36, or 48. Uh, they give you more speed and more torque. But the 24 inch, 24 volt uh, system seems to be pretty adequate. It uh, draws 500 watts. And one of the reasons I went with it is because 24 volts, you can buy 12 volt batteries just about anywhere. You just couple two 12 volt batteries together and you end up with the 24 volts. The system says that you can operate with many different types of 24 volt batteries. They have uh, extra life batteries that give you the most uh, bang for the buck, but they're over $100. I purchased these two uh, batteries. These are 12 volt. And uh, 12 amp hour. Uh, they didn't come with a kit. They were separate. But all you have to do is join a positive to a negative on the batteries and one positive over here and one negative over here and you end up with your 24 volts. Uh, the drawback for the less expensive batteries is they weigh a lot. Uh, each one of these batteries weigh about 8 pounds so you get about 16 or a little bit more when you put them together. Uh, now the batteries don't come with the kit. It's the one thing that doesn't come with the kit because there's so many selections uh, they leave it up to the people who buy them, but they also make the system pretty universal so that you can pretty much put any battery combination with it with different type of connectors. The connectors that are on these are called a .25 push-on type connectors. You can get them at local electronic store like Radio Shack. Some of the other automotive stores have these push-on connectors, and the uh, one of the devices that comes with the uh, system is a place to plug in with two bare wires and you just put the uh, positive and negative into these clips and crimp them with a pair of pliers and you can attach your batteries and just need a jumper to go from one battery to the other and this all fits inside of a battery case. Let me just slide these over here and then I want to show you the battery case. Now the battery case it's pretty well universal itself. It has these openings to run your wires from the controller which is inside here that controls the speed 
works the speed control up on the handlebars and a few other switches. So you have a hole here big enough to put the plug through and a smaller one here if you choose to use it. It's got a couple of side packets uh, for other stuff that you might want to carry with you. And I just set that over to the side. So it's, it's really very well designed. I was surprised when I got it. Um, one of the things with this, you can either put it on a rear uh, deck mounted thing like this, and this does come with the unit. It's a very rugged device. It bolts onto your axle and then onto the seat post here. And I have made some changes here to adapt it to what I'm planning to use. But I just wanted to show you that. Uh, it's a little bulky and awkward to deal with. But anyway, once that's bolted into place and this is installed on top of it, the wires just run forward. Uh, you take the existing tire off the front of your bike. You drop this in place, and one of the things that I've noticed, the axle on this it actually has a flat spot so that this will fit down onto the forks because the axle is the only part of the station. This whole wheel turns around the axle. So if you didn't have this, when you for, soon if you turn the power onto the wheel, the axle would start to spin. So it, it's quite an ingenious system that they have. Now that thing right there weighs probably about, oh, maybe about 25 pounds. It's the majority of the weight of the unit. The whole unit altogether, with all the equipment, is about 45 pounds. And if you put it on a, one of the old-fashioned uh, bicycles from my generation, baby boomer generation, you, uh, you have about 90 pounds, so you got some weight. But uh, my thing is, I like to get out and walk and now I'll be able to extend my walks, I'll go riding, I'll get exercise from pumping a single speed bike and if I get tired out or if I want to go up a hill, I just turn the thing on. If the hills are too steep, you may have to pedal a little bit to help it out, but uh, it's, it's a pretty powerful system for only a 500 watt system. And here in the state of Maine, the laws pretty much state that a bicycle is a bicycle, even if you add a motor, it's not a moped. You don't have to license it. Uh, you don't have to get registration plates. You don't have to have it inspected. And the only requirement is that you have some form of uh, driver's license or a permit. And if you have 15 and a half here at Maine, you can go and get your permit and you can use this legally on the street. You have to obey bicycle laws. Uh, you're not supposed to run people down, you're supposed to stop at stop signs, the whole thing that goes with it. But you give it a little more freedom in it that it is a bicycle, you don't have to use the power. You can pedal it uh, as long as you, you get enough strength to go with it. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. And getting back to the adapters on the system, this is the charger. You just plug this into a house current and I've, I've made some alterations to it. I've added a cigarette lighter plug and I'll show you that. In a, in a second. So that's a charger for your 24 volt battery. This device slides, you take the hand grip off your bike and on your right hand side you slide this on and to run the wire back to your uh, casing here. You've got a couple of keyed plugs so the only